Greetings travelers. In this video we'll be looking at how to get started with glitch building and particularly micro builds. Glitch building can be a bit intimidating when you're first starting out so uh, hopefully after this vid you want to give it a try. All of the builds that you see here were made using a very simple technique which we'll cover in the next few minutes. The first thing to understand is there are two different kinds of objects in the build menu. There are objects that will flip when they come into contact with other objects, like this wall light. And there are objects that won't, like this chair. So it might be a good idea to familiarize yourself with which items can flip and which ones can't. Okay, so let's look at the cache and what it can do. When you toggle the wire, you're storing the selected item into the wire cache. But what we want to do is store the item in the cache, but also access other items. To do this, we press the buttons on the screen pretty well simultaneously. If you've timed it right, you'll see the object beneath the cursor blue stated, glowing blue, and the build menu that you can see on the screen. If you didn't get it, just exit and try again. The chair is now stored in the cache, so let's duplicate a wall light and put it on the roof. And to complete the glitch, we press the buttons on the screen simultaneously. This is commonly known as the Universal Adjacency Glitch. This simple two-step glitch is massively powerful, and I use it maybe 99% of the time when I'm making micro-builds. The other indispensable application for this glitch is to rescale objects that can't normally be changed in size. All we have to do is scale up or down and build an object and perform the same two steps again. By changing the axis and the scale of any item, the possibilities are endless. So with just a couple of simple tools, we now have the ability to place objects basically wherever we want. So I want to place a large artificially scaled organic frigate calf upside down from the roof. This was the basis for my examination room on my freighter. One of the other fantastic things you can do with the cache is that you can build objects that either you don't have enough parts for or you've reached the build limit for, for your base. I already have a base teleport module but as you can see, I can build another one and I can also power it. So just one last little demo. Let's put a miniature wriggling companion in a glass box. All that's missing is a label. Well, there we go guys. I hope that was useful in giving you a bit of help to get started with glitch building. So why not give it a go? Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you later.